Hi there, this is Peter, and today I want to show you guys our uh, new uh, R56 turbo heat shield. And the idea here with this heat shield was to prevent a lot of heat issues, which usually manifest itself in the melted hood scoops, which is the first thing, certainly, and it happens on basically 100% of all the cars. So the idea here was to take some of our technology that we've been using in the R53, which is the aerogel blanket, and make an attractive cover for it that will kind of take the ugliness away from that uh, OE heat shield that sits around the turbo, and also to tidy up the engine compartment a little bit. And I think we've been very successful with that. The heat shield itself, and the idea behind it was not to put a blanket or anything that can keep the heat inside the turbine for a prolonged time. Because what happens if you, if you would take a, a blanket and wrap that around the turbo, what's going to happen is when you turn off the car, that heat there will stay, it will not travel out as it would normally do. What's going to happen is it keeps it inside the turbo and it starts to cook the bearings. And yes, the car has a timer on the water pump to cool some water through the uh, bearing passages. But what's going to happen is all that heat will stay in there and bake everything. And what happens is when the water stops moving in there, the water will evaporate and then the oil will start to coak. And what's going to happen is it's, it makes this sludgy black uh, kind of a uh, mass. Uh, they will ultimately wear out your bearings and, and break the turbo. As you will see here, uh, what we did is basically a cover. And the cover sits above the stock OE heat shield. It's a more refined way to go about rejecting the heat. And there is no way that you're going to cook the turbo or overheat any of the bearing surfaces or anything in here. So, so anyway, so that's the idea behind this. And uh, we also have some surprises coming here shortly that will be upgrading the heat shield. It has nothing to do with the heat shield per se, but we have some ideas to make this even better. And as always, we're trying to do our parts modular so they can uh, be upgraded. Uh, we can add things afterwards. So uh, hopefully you guys are going to like this as much as I do. Thank you.